So as you can see, this is a 100 percent blocked RCA. It is an ectatic vessel that you can see here. Uh, there is a 100 percent blunt uh, thrombotic occlusion of the RCA. Patient was in uh, severe pain with sweating. Uh, we took him up for a primary angioplasty and stenting to the RCA. We put a wire. The wire choice we took was a whisper uh, extra support wire. Uh, it forms a medium uh, tip weight, good medium uh, classification for the penetration power, very good uh, wire for 100% uh, thrombotic occlusions as we uh, found uh, finds some very small micro channels quite well and quickly. So we did some, uh, what do you say, thrombuster application. Uh, however, as you can uh, see, there were uh, even after two or three passes of the thrombus aspiration uh, catheter, uh, the flow has not been restored. We did some pre-dilatation uh, here. And uh, because we could not see the end artery here, so it was quite tiring. Even after aggressive, uh, even after aggressive pre-dilatation, the flow has not been restored. We are again doing some passes of the thrombus aspiration catheter. Still no flow in the mid or the distal segment. 100% cut off remains. So at this point you have to remember that you have to keep at it, uh, sometimes it takes 4 or 5 uh, or even 6 7 passes of thrombus aspiration to actually do some work. After the thrombus aspiration we did some pre-dilatation and now you can see that the flow has, is being slowly restored and you can see that this is the area with thrombus is. Always remember that you should always only and only put stent when you can visualize that there is a flow. If you put a stent in a Timmy zero flow, you are going to get a Timmy zero flow. So the flow that you generally get uh, in the start or uh, before, just before you put a stent is the uh, flow that you might get after stenting. So we have restored the flow and now we are checking where to put the stent. So we have decided that uh, we will use the osteoproximal part of the uh, to the mid uh, segment and uh, a good flow has been restored but still there is a 70-80% uh, stenosis in the mid segment as you can see. So we have decided to put another stent here to cover this up by deploying the stent and uh, after some aggressive post dilatation this is the final result. Good flow, Timothy flow has been achieved and patient at this point is pain free out of TPI support everything. Uh, we did not put TPI uh, but uh, we still had to use uh, atropine uh, once uh, when we took the patient just inside the lab but that was before we started the angioplasty. Thank you, have a good day.